Hello, this is Natalie with Multi Business Solutions, and I am here today to do a quick training video for you utilizing QuickBooks Online. And we are going to show how you can handle expenses that look like they are double entered because both a bill has been entered and a check, and we need to get that a check to apply to the bill. So, for our example here today, we are using a sample file uh, for a fictitious company, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. And as we're reviewing um, our November financials in this situation, we're going through and we're looking to see, does everything look to be in line with our income and expenses that have been recorded to make sure that our financials are as accurate as possible? As I go through this, I might notice that my gas and electric seems really high for the month of November and higher than it usually is. So if I click into this, I can see that there was a bill entered for my November gas and electric, but there was also a check entered. And so this expense has been double counted, which is inaccurate. So we want to fix that. We might also notice that this problem occurs if we go to our reports and we pull an accounts payable aging summary. And as I'm looking at that, I see PG&E shows an outstanding balance of 8644 in addition to my current bill. And so I know that I paid this, this bill is not outstanding, and it's just an accounting issue, an error that needs to be corrected in the QuickBooks file. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my vendors and I'm gonna find PG and E, and I'll see here is the bill and here is the check. And the check, as you'll see, has been categorized to an expense. We want to change this so it is categorized to accounts payable. So we're gonna let this check offset this bill. And to finish that, we'll go up to our new and we'll mark pay bills. And we're going to select PG and E here And then we'll see, I'm gonna change my payment date to around the same time that check was issued. And I see it shows the open balance for this bill. And it also shows the credit being applied, which was that check that we recategorized to accounts payable. So that's now using the credit. And so an actual payment amount will be zero. And so this is just a correction to get your bookkeeping correct. So I'm gonna save and close this. And when I go to run my reports again and I look at my profit and loss, and once again, I want to look at the November PL. And as I scroll down here, I see my gas and electric now only shows 86.44, which was my actual expenses, so that's correct. I no longer see that check sitting there because that has been correctly applied. And if I want to rerun my accounts payable aging summary as well, I see that that old bill is not showing on here as payable anymore. So that is how you fix that problem. And if you have any other questions or need any assistance with QuickBooks, please feel free to contact us at Multi Business Solutions. Thank you.